What would you want to do if you're Nick Foles? Uh, enjoy what he just accomplished, winning the Super Bowl. The time will tell how the market will bear out. The number one thing is really the health of Carson Wentz. Everyone could say he's going to be back. He's going to be 100%, bigger, stronger, faster. There's no guarantee of that. So now you know you have an insurance policy in Nick Foles, a Super Bowl MVP, a guy that had an incredible run in the postseason, a la Joe Flacco a few years ago. And in this league, with injuries, you got to have two at that position. If you ran the Eagles, what are you doing with Foles? I'm going to entertain offers. I'm going to talk to Nick and ask him what he would like to do. I think he deserves that after what he accomplished. Um, the time will tell. I, I think you know we were looking for an immediate result to the question, and it's going to take time. Hey, there, I, you and I have had numerous conversations through the years. You know my position on quarterbacks this league. About half the teams have a starting quarterback. About 16 other teams are looking for a starting quarterback. I'm talking about a guy that's going to give you 70 snaps every single week, 16 weeks. He's going to be consistent. About half the teams have that guy. Nick has now shown yeah. he can be that guy. And he played at Arizona. I'm curious about the Cardinals in this equation, if that matters yeah. at all. But, you know, and what can you get for Nick Foles? It'd be strange, though, that you have the Super Bowl MVP <laughs> and you're trading the Super Bowl MVP. But you also know you have a, a quarterback that for most of the season in Carson Wentz, that was the league MVP. So that's a great dilemma for Howie Roseman and Joe Douglas to have. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.